So I have the graph editor open, selecting his character's feet, and then the graph editor, which can be found under Windows Animation Editor's Graph Editor. Okay. Um, I'm just going to look at the character's feet, and I'm also going to look at his feet in the viewport here. Now I added this um, in between. So at frame 4 is my key position, at frame 7 is another key position. I added the key position at frame 5, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that and show you what it looked like before. So this is what it looked like before, right? Alfred's feet are sliding. Right? Alfred's feet are sliding. Um, so again, Maya does a really good job at in-betweens, but sometimes uh, she doesn't... Um, give me all of my in-betweens to look perfect. So I'm going to go over here to frame 5, all right? Because I want hit, um, Alfred's foot to be right on the ground. So I'm going to use the grease pencil and try to illustrate um, exactly what, what I'm trying to achieve here. Now, most of you guys have your um, animation packet uh, with you. And so you know that Alfred's foot should look something like this, all right? So at frame four, his foot is here. Let me change the color so it becomes a little bit more visible. All right, so his foot is here. At frame four. And then at frame seven, it's right here in the passing position. All right, so we need to make this transition look as smooth as possible. All right, so let me kind of color that in a little bit. So we want to make that position at frame seven and the fr position at frame four to look like a smooth transition without any sort of sliding because that's what we're getting at frame five, right? His feet slides, or his foot slides. So. At frame five, what I want to do is try to get his heel to be in this position and then to have the his toe, I guess something like that. Right? Because we, we want his foot to move on an arc. Right? We want his foot to move on an arc. So that's my frame 5, and I know that my frame 6 is going to be, you know, in a different position after I change my frame 5. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to frame 5. I'm going to select Alfred's foot, and I'm going to zero out my heel lift, or lift heel, and my toe. And I'm going to move his foot up. I'll rotate it like so. And something like that. Okay. So I'll go ahead and press S. Let's have a key on there. And so now when I scrub through, right, I don't get that foot slide anymore. Alright? So we have to add some key positions in here. All right, so that's what I want to do uh, throughout this um, particular um, walk cycle. All right, so let me erase my points of reference in my grease pencil and kind of follow that foot throughout my time slider. So I have my character's, um, his right foot. I'm scrubbing through a time slider, and um, we're going to go and use the uh, graph editor um, in just a few minutes here. But I want to make sure that it looks good. All right, so that looks good. It kind of goes through the floor here, so I'll move it up like that. And this is my contact position, so I'll press S. I'll move his hips up just a little bit. Maybe forward. 
back. All right, and I'll press the S key, and then he'll hit the floor. I'm not gonna worry about it too much. I think it's just the the rig itself, right, where the heel kind of goes to the ground. But if you want it to, you can set, you know, keyframes so that move this up. Now my translate Y is zeroed out, so I'm just gonna take the ground plane. And then move this down like so. So let's see something. Let's move that up. Okay, so now I'm going to work on Alfred's right foot. Start off at frame one. Okay. So there's my heel lift. I'll scrub through. And let's see, let's add a little bit more time. And you can see right here, which is the same position it was before from your down position to your passing position, his feet, his foot slides. All right. So I'll use a grease pencil again just to illustrate from the down position to the passing position we're going to have uh, feet sliding. All right. So from the down to the pass. All right. Maybe that would be something that you put in your notes. From the down position to the passing position, the foot slides. All right. So let's kind of trace that for you guys. At frame 17, that's where it foot slides for me. And then at frame 19 is the proper position for our passing pose. So I actually need to fix that passing pose. And move the hips over, move them up. I a giant foot on my screen. And I'm just gonna erase it so I can visually see a little bit more. So let's draw that position again. So this is a uh, passing pose, which looks really nice. All right foot's in the right position. I think at frame 16. And in Richard Williams uh, animator survival survival kit, um, he tells us that the foot moves on an arc, right? And it usually leads with the heel. Alright? It usually leads with the heel. And what we're trying to do is keep the heel along this kind of imaginary line. Alright? So it's really not along that line here. It's a little bit lower. It's where it needs to be at frames uh, 19. So I'll go to one frame before and I'm going to position his foot in a way that the toe is the last thing that is um, kind of moving. It's like dragging a little bit. See, so the, the toe is still in the same position, close to the same position as it was at frame 16, and the heel is moving forward. Again, I don't want it to look too unnatural, so I'm not going to rotate the foot at like a really awkward angle. All right, so if I press comma, I can go one keyframe back and period to go one keyframe forward. All right, so that's, that's what I like, okay? I think it looks really nice. And then we'll go into the graph editor and smooth some things out. But for now, that's what I would focus on is looking at the uh, foot as it rotates from uh, your down position to your passing position, okay? 
So again, as you can see here, this is my down, this is my passing, and the foot looks good, it doesn't slide off the floor. And then down into my passing, it doesn't slide off the floor. All right, so that's one way of keeping the feet from sliding. The rest of the body is uh, going to do some really weird things. It's going to jiggle a little bit. The knee is going to pop. But those are, um, I'd like to say, working in like a different layer, right? We're going to work with the hips and the graph editor, um, the feet and the spine. So we're going to do one pass at a time. So right now, it's always important to make sure that the feet don't slide and then the rest of the body will actually um, go really smooth after that. Okay, so just getting the adding in between positions, right? Adding in between positions on our character's feet. So I'm actually looking here and noticing that maybe I should add a little bit more of a heel lift. Um, because I want there always to be a nice transition of uh, body weight and momentum. So I'm like looking at the foot. All right. And let's add a little bit more heel lift. All right, so his heels always look like they're moving forward. And again, we're going to go in the graph editor and smooth some of these things out right now because it's uh, in its basic state. So um, that's it. So you guys get to work and I'll look at your work here shortly to determine if um, you've got that down.